Hello mates, it's Naka. Guys, it's been a while, but I am here. Um, I decided to do this video just to kind of like chit chat and just get in the groove of things with you guys, see how you guys are doing, let you guys know how I've been doing. And also I have a lot, a lot of videos coming up that I recorded. My thing is, it's like the editing. Like I get so lazy when it comes to editing that I'm just like, you know what, I'll upload it next week and then next week comes and i'm like i'll edit it next week and then it's like it never gets done so let's get ready so um i'm gonna be using i'm not gonna be using foundation today i'm getting ready to go to the grocery store guys i've been loving going to the grocery store and just like putting a little bit of blush eyeliner doing my hair like a cute hairstyle lately just I don't know like sometimes you gotta look good even if you're not going anywhere or you're just going at like the corner store and stuff I don't do it all the time but once in a while I like to show out I'm like what like a subtle you know like a little subtle glam but quick update with me um, for those who watch me and my fiance's YouTube channel if you don't make sure you subscribe to a channel we posted a video and I don't want you guys to feel like you're not in the loop and stuff like that and I am going to try hard to you know post more and edit my videos here but um yeah so me and my fiance were oh and on my cheeks I'm using swipe right by she glam I'm obsessed with this shade you guys it's like the perfect blush and it stays on for literally a really long time I mean for me at least as a lot of you guys know me and my fiance were trying to get pregnant and I really thought it would take us literally like a month or like we would do it right away and then bam I would be pregnant but surprise surprise I was like I didn't get the memo <laughs> So me and my fiance are trying to get pregnant and we me and him guys I was like I don't need vitamins never taking birth control or anything so it's just like okay it's going to be easy you know I don't need this I don't need that I'm just gonna get pregnant right away I'm a baby machine baby making machine that's what me and Dominic were calling like me and stuff because I was like my mom has like my mom gave birth to how many kids did mom give birth to eight seven kids last month it was our first time taking a pregnancy test just because i literally had all the hormones um i was emotional moody um i got well sick i got food poisoning so like i was sick but yeah now it's like oh shoot so it was like a little bit of ignorance ish and i did track my ovulation i saw a couple people talking about um make sure like you track your ovulation stuff i did i literally did everything by the book the only thing that i didn't do was take my vitamins but with that oh let me keep doing makeup but also guys i got this lip balm from costco it's like costco's number one um the best sellers these are so good they're flavored this flavor i think it's watermelon flavor my brother took all the vanilla ones so i was left with these Hmm. But um what was I saying? What was I saying? Uh So these are the vitamins that I'm taking mates. This camera, I don't know how to work it, but it's the Elevit one. These are pretty popular, I think, in like Australia or something like that. So I've been taking you see that. I've been taking it for one, two, three, four, five, six days. See that six days straight. I've been taking these, and you get um, these three tablets. But yeah, this brand. I read that um, if you're tired a lot and like you have low iron, it's really really good for you. But then if you're not tired a lot, don't take this because you're gonna. I saw it on TikTok. Some lady said like she didn't have any like iron deficiency or something like that and um she took it and it, it wasn't the best for her but then when i saw like her bad experience it helped me because i was just like oh i'm the opposite of that so that's why sometimes like i like to read the negative reviews that people say to know how it would benefit me so for this one mates absolutely love this so now i'm gonna do my eyeliner guys back to the makeup 
But yeah, so this also, this is the Essence Super Last Eyeliner. This, I've had this specific bottle for literally six years, still going strong. Like this eyeliner, they don't make them like this anymore. When I go back to Ottawa, I'm definitely gonna stock up. And the best part is that it's literally like a dollar Canadian. Maybe it's two dollars now because the price probably went up. There you go. You see that, me? And my eyes for my eyeliner, they literally, they never look equal. One's always off, the other one's better than the other, but it ain't a problem. Perfect. It looks good to me. You see that, me? So back to the trying to get pregnant stuff. When I saw the negative sign on the pregnancy, guys, I'm not even joking. I was so down for like two days because I was convinced I was pregnant. And I just, I felt like a failure, you know? I felt like less than a woman because it's like you have one job and you can't even do it. I've been bleeding for 27 years, 28 years, and you can't even like get pregnant. I was just like, I was very sad, you know? But um, I called my mom and I talked to her and she told me that with her first pregnancy, um, she said that it took six months for her to get pregnant and the doctors, they told her that she could never carry a child full term because her uterus was like super tiny because back in the day, my mom used to be like really, really skinny, like very skinny and small. So yeah, they told us she could never have children full term and like stuff like that. And my older brother, he was he wasn't full term. I think he he was premature. And then I was full term. She carried me full term because she was like, when you were born, like you were full term. I think I was like eight pounds, and my brother was like five pounds or something like that. Five, yeah, like I believe five pounds. But yeah, he was a preemie. And then I was full term, so she was really happy when I came out, and I was full term. And then all my younger brothers after that, like, she had them, they were healthy, like, full term, no complications, nothing. So, you know, she was just like, at the beginning, I think that, because my, she said, this is what my mom said, you know, she said that um, it's normal for it to take a little longer, because we don't eat like we used to, the foods, the hormones, and like, the meat, and stuff like that, so that does affect you, and then she said, like, also, I wasn't taking my vitamins, so that's on me. So if you're trying to get pregnant, I would say to take your prenatals or any vitamins before you try. But I'm happy that I did things my own way just because sometimes you have to try your me. This shirt, I lift my hand up and I, I get un, unwanted surprises. Like... <laughs> I gotta be careful, but as I was saying, I'm happy that I tried things my way, like, you know, because I was like, oh, I'm the best, I don't need prenatals, I don't need vitamins, and I got humbled real quick, so if yours, and I also wanted, like, my babies to be born in April, <laughs> which I'm still sad about, because me and Dominic were both born in April, and I was like, it would be amazing if, like, we're all, like, an Aries family, but who knows maybe i'll get pregnant next year in july and you're still gonna be aries maybe hopefully i get pregnant this month though or next month but i'm not doing that i'm not i'm also not gonna be like super psycho you know like you get obsessive with um pregnancy and like wanting a baby so i'm not gonna do that so for my lips i'm gonna use ginger snap by nyx some people call it nyx i call it nyx oh you see that mm -mm -mm. i usually guys i usually use um my ColourPop lip liner uh what's the shade i forget the shade but it's sold it's discontinued not even sold out discontinued they don't have it anymore and now i'm freaking out because i don't know what like i like a brown lip liner right and the ColourPop one it was the perfect brown. I have dark red lips, so it's really hard for me to find like a brown that's like dark enough, but like still like beautiful, you know? And that one was perfect, but it's discontinued. 
super sad but um yeah so let me know if you guys know any like really really good brown lip liners i live in mexico so if you know if they ship internationally let me know i can order it online because ColourPop doesn't have it anymore and i'm really sad about that but yeah you guys so that was my quick life update i'm dealing with that i was extremely like heartbroken you guys i've never felt this heartbroken um about like two weeks ago but i'm getting back to being myself and just back to healthy dominic surprised me with something that um i'm not gonna say it on my channel because i i think we're gonna vlog it i'm not sure we're gonna see how we feel in the moment you know really focusing on just being in the moment and just not being too stressed because i get like that i'm the type of person where like once something doesn't go my way i start to panic and i'm like oh my god there's something wrong with me and i overthink and it's just it takes a toll on my body so that's why we're taking a step back just relaxing what's been going on with me and my fiance um getting ready for the wedding we finally found a venue you guys i'm so excited like oh my lord so we found a venue it's so beautiful like this place breathtaking and like the beach there is really nice i'm super excited like Whenever I have a bad day, I just think of the venue that we, that we found and I'm instantly happy. We're still on the lookout for a house. We did see a house that we liked, but it got sold. So I'm really sad about that. Um, yeah, we're looking for a new house. We're going to be renting our house just because I want us to build our house. But um, with like us trying for a baby and stuff like that, and I like it's just it's too much finding land. So... Uh, of course like we want to build our house right and um, so I want to do that after the baby our child is like one year old that way I can like leave him with family and then we go look at land and stuff like that so right now the plan is just to rent within two years me and Dominic ha we're talking about it we want to literally find the plot of land to build our home where we can be raise our beautiful children and just be happy Oh, mate, I'm not trying to expose anything where we could just be happy and just be a family. So that is the plan. And then for this week, me and Dominic are just going to take it easy. We've been going out for walks and just telling myself that it's not my fault that I'm pregnant and there's nothing wrong with me. I'm healthy. I'm normal. And that it does take time, you know. So that is everything, you guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Thank you. For all your amazing DMs, you guys have been so sweet, um, your comments. It's not stressful, but it's just, it can get stressful and I don't want it to get stressful. You know what I mean? I want it to be a fun experiment. I want it to enjoy every bit of it. You know, I want to take the lows with the highs, you know, not just the highs. Everything and it's a process. And I know once I get pregnant, it's going to be so meaningful and I'm going to look back at these videos and be like, why was I stressing? Like, you need to relax. So, yeah, I'm super excited. And also, I got ovulation kits. Like, I have everything. Like, yeah. So, we are prepared. I'm educated. Um, more than when I was, like, when I started. Just because, like, at the beginning, when you first start to get pregnant, there's so much information and it does get overwhelming. But what I got from it, know your, get your ovulation kit take your prenatals um like i want to say like a month before you want to try or whenever you know take your prenatals if you don't want to take prenatals take i would say look at the the folic acid just take that because that's very important or look at the you know like the prenatals look at the vitamins inside and just buy that individually and take that amount according to how much your doctor tells you to take or how much you want to take knowing your body so that's what i would say and then um, just be patient with yourself. That, that's what my mom told me to do. Just, just be patient. That is it. Oh, and this is literally like my daily makeup. I go out like this. You know, it's not doing the most. If I felt like it, if I had time, I would pop on lashes. But anybody got time for that? Also, let me know if you want me to do a how I do my braids. Um, my braids do need a touch up because look, mates, you see this hair here? 
it's like growing out i am going to be redoing these braids so let me know it actually i'm gonna do a video on that because a lot of people comment how do you do your braids how do you da -da 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 -da. so i'm gonna show you guys how i do it it's super easy like this took me it was really long it took me 13 hours to do so which honestly like it's not that long when you think about it because braids sometimes they take 24 hours so for this to take me like th well it took me i took a long break too so 13 hours but i was taking breaks here and there so it's really quick and then i curl the bottom but um this hair i don't really like this hair oh it is what it is you guys will see in my video what hair i use but thank you so much for hanging out with me don't forget to like comment and since Thanks. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Toodaloo! Bye!